Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's class, from physics subject, friction questions we are going to discuss. So some previous Olympiad questions based on the chapter we are going to discuss children. So level 1, first question. What type of a force is friction? What type of a force is friction? So friction will always occur between two surfaces due to the irregularities between the two surfaces. So the two surfaces must be in contact for occurring of this frictional force. So it's a kind of contact force. It's a kind of contact force. Next, what is the value of sliding friction for an object which requires 7 newtons of force to move it from rest, to move it from rest. So, actually it is at rest position. Suppose a block which is under rest, we want, we are applying force to make it move. So, when it is ready to move, means from rest to motion, from rest to motion, for making it move, we have to apply a force of 7 newtons. So, the force used while moving a body from rest to motion, so that whatever force applied during that time, it will be converted to static friction. It will be converted to static friction. So, once the maximum static friction is reached or limiting, it is also called as limiting. Once the limiting friction is reached, the block will start moving. So, when it is in movement, when the body is in movement, then we will come across sliding friction. This sliding friction is always less than the static friction. So, here, what is the value of sliding friction they are asking? For moving it from rest to motion, we need 7 newtons, which is equal to static friction. So, now sliding friction will be less than this 7 newtons, less than this 7 newtons. Next one, third question, which of the following materials is likely to have the least friction? So, out of four options, uh, which kind of material will be having the least friction? So, wood, cardboard, glass, paper. If we compare the smoothness of all these four materials, glass will be smoother than remaining three. So, glass will show least friction compared to the others. So, which of the following reduces friction in a rotating mission. So, if the mission is rotating or in rotating missions, we make use of special structures called ball bearings. We make use of special structures called ball bearings, means small balls, small balls, ball bearings. We make use of the structures called ball bearings to reduce the friction. So, in which of the following cases is friction desirable? Means it is advisable, it is uh, useful. So, movement of uh, piston in a cylinder, a vehicle speeding, running on a track, all the above. So, for smooth movement of piston, there should be less friction. Piston means, so while doctor while giving injection, so doctor while giving injection, um, here with the syringe, he will press this tube-like structure. Here injection liquid will be there. Here he will press this tube-like structure down. So the injection will come out. This liquid will come out. So this is called piston. This is called piston, piston. So, for smooth movement of piston, there should be less friction. In this case, friction is not desirable. 
vehicle speeding suppose if the vehicle is speeding if it is uh, uh, going with uh, very fast at the time if suddenly anything happens if we apply brakes it has to stop so in this condition friction is desirable so running on a track so friction is not desirable so okay so in b option friction is desirable so next so why is a carom board usually powdered before playing so carom board is powdered with boric powder boric powder which is made from boric acid or boric powder so which which acts like lubricant which acts like lubricant and it decreases the friction so that coins moves on the board smoothly next which of the following statements is correct rolling is easier than sliding correct true sliding is easier than rolling false dragging is easier than sliding false dragging is easier than rolling fast false only one correct statement rolling is easier than sliding so what is the frictional force exerted by fluids called fluids means either by gas or by liquid the frictional force exerted either by gas or by liquid is called drag next why are certain bodies streamlined certain bodies like aeroplane or ship some of the luxury cars why they are streamlined to decrease friction to reduce friction so that they move in a speed band next in the decreasing order of magnitude which of the following is correct decreasing order of magnitude decreasing means from greatest value to smallest value greatest value to smallest value so out of uh, rolling static sliding whose friction will be greatest slat static will be greatest and rolling will be least so static is greater than sliding is greater than rolling so b option is correct next run which of the following activities is easier to perform on a drum of 10 kg drum of 10 kg either dragging at the drum lifting drum rolling drum or all the above need the same effect so in which case it will be easier rolling the drum because if we have a drum if we roll it if we roll it then it can be moved easily compared to dragging and lifting because rolling friction is lesser so answer option c next so why does a meteor why does a meteor burn upon entering the earth earth's atmosphere so meteor is a stellar object interstellar object interstellar object which will fall from space now the question is before entering into the earth atmosphere why does it will burn why does it will burn so in the space actually uh, before entering into earth, earth atmosphere it will be in vacuum the meteor which is falling from the outer space will be traveling in vacuum before reaching the earth so while reaching the earth it will comes into contact with air it will comes into contact with air which is a fluid which is a fluid which will exert fluid friction which will exert fluid friction and because of that fluid friction this meteor will become hot and it will burn so due to excess friction in air why the meteor is burning means 
because of excess friction in air due to that it is burning next one why are the head of a matchstick and the sides of a matchbox deliberately made rough so why the suppose if we have a match bo matchbox now the question is why the head part of matchbox and why the side part of sides of matchbox are made rough are made rough why means if we if we rub the matchstick over the sides or uh, head of matchbox because of rough surface because of more friction heat will be developed and the matchstick will burn matchstick will burn means to increase the friction to increase the friction to increase the friction so answer option a so just by making it rough amount of heat will not be increased it also depends on other factors so direct answer is to increase the friction is correct answer correct answer indirectly because of friction because of more friction more amount of heat may be developed but it is indirect answer so direct answer is to increase the friction <coughs> next one so why are spikes provided in the shoes of athletes if you compare the shoes of athletes if you compare the shoes of athletes the bottom part the bottom part of the shoes will be having spikes mainly sport shoes sport shoes will be having spikes some of the shoes will be costly because of this uh, spikes why means if it have this kind of spikes so friction will be increased while running we will get good grip on the ground so that we cannot fall down so answer to increase friction next which force prevents us from slipping while walking on the road while walking on the road so which force prevents us from slipping means frictional force because of frictional force we are when we keep our when we keep our foot when we keep our foot on the ground we are able to stand on the ground without slipping only because of the frictional force because of irregularities between the our foot and the land these two will interlock and we are able to stand and because of muscular force we are overcoming this irregularity we are coming forward so answer is frictional force so next question which of the following statements is not true is not true friction can be reduced by converting sliding friction into rolling friction if a sliding friction change changes to rolling friction 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 will be reduced it's true friction in air and water can be reduced by streamlining the shape of objects true polished surface will have less friction true friction can be reduced to zero wrong why means friction can be reduced but completely we cannot make it zero we cannot make it zero so this is false statement this is not true according to question which of the following statement is not true means option d is the correct answer next one so what will happen to a moving object if there is no friction if there is no friction 
what will happen to a moving object? If it is already moving without, if there is no force or if there is no friction, it will not stop at all. It will be moving like that only. It will be moving like that only. So, the object will be, will keep on moving without coming to halt. So, which of the following is a disadvantage of friction? Disadvantage of friction. It enables the brakes of car to work. It's advantage actually. It allows to hold a pen. Advantage. It helps us to sandpaper a table. What is the meaning of sandpaper children? Sandpaper means making it smooth. The carpenters will be having some kinds of uh, sandpapers which uh, while making furniture with that sandpaper they will rub on the table for uh, making it smooth. It is also an advantage. It weights out our shoes. This is the disadvantage. So, if we uh, bought new, sho new shoes because of more usage, because of friction, it weights out the bottom part of shoes. Again, new shoes we have to buy. So, this is the disadvantage. So, option D is correct answer. Next, which of the following is not an effect of frictional force? The grooves, the grooves of tights means the like spikes, like uh, spikes of shoes, the tights also will have grooves for better grip. They are flattened due to use. Excellent. This is the effect of force. You can observe the old tights of a bicycle or a car, any bike. If it becomes smooth, if the grooves are flattened, we cannot grip while moving on the road, they will skid easily. So that is why we have to change the types of the vehicles. A rolling ball comes to halt, it is an effect of friction. Leaves falling from tree. Why leaves are falling from tree? Due to gravitational pull of the earth, not because of friction. So this is not the effect of friction. So C option is correct. Holding pen, effect of friction. Next. Why are tires made circular in shape? If they are circular, then they will create rolling friction, which is smaller compared to other frictions. So, rolling friction is less than sliding friction. So, that is why tights are made circular. Next run. So, Sudhakar's bicycle was making a lot of squeaking noise. So, what should he do to stop the squeaking noise? Means one part is uh, getting touched with another part and uh, some different kind of sound will be coming that is called squeaking noise. So, to reduce that what we have to do? We have to apply oil so that the machinery parts will become smooth. Without noise, we can move the vehicle. Next one. A coin flicked on a table will stop. So, why it is stopping? Because the table exerts frictional force. So, that is why it will be stopped. Next one. So, while walking on ice, why should one take small steps to avoid slipping? So, while, while walking on ice, we should take small steps. We should take small steps. Why means? If we take small steps, if we take small steps, it will create greater normal force which uh, you will be learning later children. So, greater normal force because of that 
friction depends on normal force because of greater normal force greater frictional force will be developed we cannot skid on the ice we cannot skid on the ice so smaller steps ensure larger friction because of larger normal force next one in which of the following activities friction useful driving a car useful sitting on a chair because of friction we are able to sit on chair if there is no friction we will fly we cannot sit on the chair rowing a boat yes it is advisable desirable so in all three cases friction is useful so all of the above so next how can friction be decreased by using smooth surfaces correct by using dry surfaces wrong by increasing weight wrong all the above wrong correct answer a option next question which of the following is a measure of the force required to keep an object moving with the same speed already it is moving means for moving with the same speed we have to apply sliding friction if it is starting from rest static friction already it is moving to keep the object moving with same speed we need sliding friction so option b is correct so which of the following activities will not be possible in the absence of friction in the absence of friction holding of glass not possible writing on paper not possible sitting on chair not possible so all the above not possible so which one of the following activities not possible means all activities are not possible so d option is correct next which of the following activities will produce least amount of frictional force so walking running ice skating rowing a boat on ice skating less frictional force will be there so answer because of its smoothness so answer ice skating so that's why there is a chance of easy skidding so ice skating uh, every everybody can walk everybody can run everybody can row a boat or compared to walking and running rowing a boat is somewhat difficult compared to rowing a boat ice skating is very difficult we need special training for ice skating otherwise ice skating otherwise we can slip down easily because of less frictional force next one which of the following is reduced by the correct measure of air pressure in the tires so so before going for long distance it is advisable to make the uh, uh, tires of uh, vehicle filled with air completely so that proper measure of air pressure will decrease rolling friction will decrease rolling friction next question 30 question children which of the following makes it difficult to quickly stop a ship moving in a sea by applying brakes if there is a low friction we cannot stop a ship easily if there is more friction we can stop it easily so stopping on the road is easy compared to stopping on the water because water will exert low friction compared to land so stopping a ship is um, is difficult because of low friction by water so answer low friction okay children still some questions out there children we can learn in our next video so so that's all for today children so thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates so you can visit our website children www.aimstudy.in so for online classes quizzes live worksheets 
activities, English classes, coding classes. Thank you, Shilan. Have a good day.